You want to know how I am? Well, that makes two of us. You want to know the thoughts in my head? Well, so do I. At least part of me does and part of me doesn't. And the part of me that doesn't rules. Mostly I keep busy so I don't have time to listen to myself. I keep busy because I'm afraid if I take time, there might be nothing to listen to. And every now and then when I do hear something, I get scared. Where does that thought come from? What am I supposed to do with it? Where am I supposed to put it? When it goes away, I breathe easy and I try to get busy again. Other people, I look at them and they seem so filled with thoughts and feelings. How can they get any work done? If I thought and felt like most people, I don't think I have the energy for anything else. Sometimes I think feeling and thinking is a fad and one day it will pass. And somewhere, somewhere inside me, I know that I must have that which other have. And if I force myself, I could feel all that's inside. I'm sure if I force myself, if I really, really force myself and got over the urge to scream, I could tell you a great deal. But what if I stay it that way, thinking and feeling all over the place, every waking moment, and telling you all about it, getting so that I wanted to and that I needed someone to listen? No. That doesn't sound the least bit attractive. And if I told you everything I thought and everything I felt and everything I desire, and when I finish, if, but for a split second, you looked at me in silence, I will feel so alone and that terror will collapse my heart. And even if I survive that, even if I survive that terror, you will know where my soul lives, and I need to have an unlisted soul. And I see that you like me, but I know you don't know me. So what does your affection mean? And I see that you're kind, and I see that you're trying to bring me out, but I don't trust is what you really want. So even if I knew what I thought and I felt, I can't tell you, so please stop asking. I could love you if you stop asking, please. Please order your drink and let's have dinner and tell me stories about your day and stories about your life. Distract me, engage me, let me live through you. You can do that, I know you can. It's your most attractive feature. Just stop asking how I am. Before I get annoying, before I lose patience, and I get so fed up, I tell you. And I risk it all. And I face the terror I have no name yet, but which runs my life. And if you make me go there, I will only resist you and resent you. And neither of us will be happy. So, tell me how you are. And I will listen. And I will hold your hand. And I will make you glad you're a man. But I will never tell you how I am. Never.